In this video, we'll create a new UI for our password generator. If you didn't watch the last video, this was the code that we created to generate a safe password. So basically, we'll grab this code and build a function. Let's go. Also, at the end of this video, I will point you out how to build an executable for this password generator. It is very simple. For this, I'm using Visual Studio Code. For this script, you'll need to import random, tick eater, and message box from tick eater. But now, let's start by the end of this script. So, to use the tick eater, we create a root and we call .tk. This will create a window where we will be using for our interface. And besides that, we also call the .title and we use the title password generator. Here, you can see that we have root.mainloop, which is responsible for displaying the user interface window and keeping it responsive to user interactions. And I will run a demonstration here. And let's start by running only this. So, as you can see, we have here our window without anything else. But let's move on. In the first section here, I've created two things. The first one is the password label where I call the label class with the arguments of the root that we have here and the text that says generated password. This pack is a method that is used to place the widgets in the window. And then I created a password entry. I call the entry class again with the root and the wide of 30. And let's see what this is doing. Let me comment this, save and run. As you can see, these couple lines of code created this label, generated password, and an entry where we'll be displaying the password generated. Now, if we move to the next section, we have the buttons. The first button is the button to generate the password. And here we call the class button. We give the root as an argument, a text as an argument for the button, which is generate password, and a comment. This comment calls the function generate password. And here you can see that we have the code to generate the password that was created in the last video. And we also have two things. For the password entry, we'll delete any text that might be there. For example, if you generate several passwords, you want to clear or delete the previous password. And we'll insert the new one. Coming back to the buttons, we have the copy button to copy our password. This comment is the copy password. Here in the first line of the function, we want to copy the password from the password entry. So we call password entry dot get. And then if there is a password, we clear the, keep the clipboard. Then we append the password to the clipboard and we update the root. In this case, we'll generate a message using the message box, which tells us password copied. Password has been copied to the clipboard. Otherwise, if there is no password, we pass the message, no password, no password generated. So if I copy the password without having a password, it tells me no password generated. But if I generate a password, I can now copy the password and it tells me password has been copied to the clipboard. And we can check and test it here. Yes, we can see that we have the password here. And we can keep generating safe passwords. Let me just tell you that I would love your support to the channel. If you enjoy this video, give a thumbs up because it helps a lot the channel. And guess what? It's free. So I really appreciate it. Now in the screen, we'll be displaying a new video. If you're interested in making an executable for this project, feel free to go to this video. Otherwise, take a look at the channel and I think you'll find something interesting to see. I hope to see you around. Peace out.